On behalf of Denver Police Chief Paul Pazin, I'd like to welcome each one of you to the promotion ceremony here today. Today, seven members of the department are being promoted to the ranks of Lieutenant and Sergeant. These seven officers seated here today have devoted a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy to get to this very moment and are now being recognized for their skills and accomplishments. And so far in their Denver Police careers, they've already served the Denver community for a combined over 100 years, and we look forward to seeing them continue to building their legacies in their new leadership roles. And at this time, will you please stand, if you're able, for the presentation of the colors by the Denver Police Honor Guard. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Denver Police Chaplain Erica Fletchinger. Please join me in bowing your heads for a prayer today. Heavenly Father, we dedicate these men and women to you who are taking on a new responsibility in their lives. We gather together to celebrate them as they begin new journeys in their lives. We come together today in unity in support of their new roles and responsibilities. Let us remember the words of our Father, who said, to whom much is given, much more will be demanded. We pray for and are thankful for their family members and friends. May they continue to love and support them in their journeys. We pray and thank those who train them for their time and dedication. We pray in thankfulness for them accepting their new roles and responsibilities. May they do their jobs well and always be with you. Thank you for these men and women, Lord, and keep them safe. Amen. Good morning. This is a great way to start the week. Normally we have these at the end of the week, but I think this is a good omen. Congratulations, gentlemen. Well done. But before I speak directly to you, I want to extend thanks and admiration and gratitude to all of the friends and the family who have supported each and every one of you in preparation for this date. Y'all have stood by while they have been studying, while they've been doing their practice assessment centers, while they've been still maintaining to do their present jobs and their off-duty jobs. And you've probably sacrificed date nights You've probably sacrificed some family events and had to reschedule things. You probably had to pick up a few of their chores that weren't getting done around the house. So thank you to all of you, and a continued thank you and appreciation for the adjustments that these new roles are going to uh, cause in your, each of your lives. You're going to have shift changes for most of you. You're going to have hourly changes. Those date nights may have to be date morning breakfasts or something like that. They couldn't do that, their job without each and every one of you behind them. I also want to thank all of their mentors and those people who have inspired them in their careers. Every single one of you who has worked with each and every one of these gentlemen has played some part in their being here today. They've taken pieces of what they've learned from working alongside or under you, and that's what's inspired them to put the work in to earn these promotions here today. I especially want to recognize those individuals within the department who routinely offered their time and their support to mentor folks as they're preparing for promotional examinations, who mentor them as they give them practice assessment centers. 
Thank you all for the inspiration and the leadership that you've given to keep this department moving forward. And now to our new promotees. We keep talking about how there's never been a harder time to be a police officer, but I'm gonna challenge you to, let's turn that around and say, okay, it's a challenging time, but this is an opportunity for each and every one of you to choose how to make it better. I challenge each of you to think of new ways to inspire the folks that you will be supervising. I challenge each of you to find new ways to demand the best for those people. Lead by example. Act with integrity, act with courtesy, act with courage, and work hard while you're doing so. Ask your folks how they're doing. Inquire of them and really listen and talk with them. Even if you don't have the magic solution as to how to make their day better, just listening will do something. I think if you look back to those folks that inspired you, the people who commanded you in the past, those who you hold in the highest regard, you're gonna find that those were folks who did their job well. They did their job really well. They worked hard, but they also demanded the best from those that worked under them. I challenge you to demand the best from the people you will be supervising and to hold them accountable when they fail. Exercise your authority with kindness, firmness, justice, fairness, respect, and reason. When you put on this new badge, you're accepting the challenge of your new rank. Serve this city and its people, this department, and those under your supervision with honor and dig dignity. Thank you for your commitment, and may God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you, Chief Deputy Executive Director DeLackey. And now, Chief Pazin would like to share his words of encouragement with the leaders being promoted today. Thank you all for being here. I uh, do want to uh, thank uh, the mayor who couldn't join us, as well as the executive director of public safety, Armando Soldate. Uh, it's important to note the, uh, the week that we have just begun. And, and this is unique that we are doing a promotion ceremony on a Monday. And I do believe that it is uh, something that will pay dividend uh, in these leaders' future. See, police week, is uh, something that, that we honor the women and men that have gone before us, the women and men who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in supporting, in serving, in protecting our community. And part of what uh, our new sergeants and lieutenant will be doing is helping to uh, develop, encourage, support the women and men that patrol this city, that investigate uh, the crimes, that support the people of Denver. Uh, Executive Director Saldate was actually in Washington, D.C. As, as names were added to the National Memorial. And although today is a, a day of celebration, we also need to acknowledge uh, those that have gone before us. So thank you, thank you for being here. I uh, certainly have to thank our newly promoted sergeants and lieutenant. See, it's not easy taking uh, this test. It's not just a, a, a written test that you study for, you score well and you move on. Uh, it is something that is all encompassing. It takes time it, away from families. It really takes a lot of focus in order not only to do well on that stage of the test, but also the assessment center portion uh, of the test. And uh, knowing uh, these promotees for, for many years, uh, what I do know is that uh, our city, the people that make up this city and this department are in good hands. 
I'd like to thank uh, the families who have uh, sacrificed throughout uh, our officers' uh, careers and are about to embark on even more sacrifice. But uh, for those families that continue to support uh, the women and men that make up this police department, uh, thank you. Today, you are being entrusted with uh, a great responsibility. And we expect that uh, it goes far beyond just taking the test. The expectation is that uh, you understand uh, the importance uh, of this role and that you lead uh, during these extraordinary times in an extraordinary way. Uh, this is arguably the most difficult time ever to be a police officer in this country but it is arguably the most important time to be a police officer in this country. And uh, knowing all of the sacrifice, knowing the character that makes up uh, this team, I am exceptionally proud of what you have accomplished and what you will continue to accomplish. I want to share a few words that uh, I think we can all live by. And uh, I want you all to remember to work hard, work smart, and treat people right. Uh, if you do that, you will be successful on this job. If you instill that in the people that you lead, we will be successful in how we keep our community safe. The expectation is that you lead by example, that you lead from the front, that you actively manage and supervise your people so you can support them and help them achieve their goals as others have helped you achieve your goals. Thank you for your uh, commitment uh, to the people of Denver, your professionalism in doing this uh, very difficult job. I wish you safety and success as you move forward, and please be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Pazin. Now, with the, assist the assistance of Chief Executive Director DeLackey and Chief Pazin, we will begin our badge presentations. Lieutenant Chad Kendall. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge is his wife, Lorelai. Sergeant John Cisneros. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge is his wife, Jamie Cisneros, and children, Jalen, Jax, and Toby. Sergeant Thomas Murphy. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge is his wife, Sarah, and their son, Lawson. Sergeant Alex Zavak. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge, his wife, Brianna, and daughter, Olivia. Sergeant Todd Erickson. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge is his wife, Leanne, and sons, Logan and Ashton. Sergeant Brandon Munzer. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge, his fiance, Brittany Rudolph, and his son, August. Sergeant Fred Jones, Jr. Joining him on stage to pin on his new badge, his wife, Tanya, and his daughters, Samantha, Tatum, and Mackenzie. <laughs> 